Hi again, my name's Andy and uh, in this video I want to show you the wave change switch, what's known as a wafer switch. In this GEC BC5645 radio, the wave change switch shows up in three places in the circuit diagram, although it comprises of five uh, multi-way switches. This is a close-up of one of the switches and you'll see that the contact at the bottom is the common contact and it makes connection with each of the other terminals in turn. In this view the common is connected to the VHF terminal and now the medium wave, the long wave and the position for gram. So that's what the switch looks like on the circuit diagram or at least one of the segments of the switch and this is what it looks like in reality. That's the common contact that I've marked with the red ring. You'll see the contacts on this switch are very dirty and that's not at all unusual. Uh, silver plated contacts and they oxidize very easily and you can see the track that has been uh, polished as the switch has been used. Notice how each of the little contacts are lifted as the sweeping contact goes underneath uh, each individual position and that's a good sign. It shows that there is some spring pressure on those. The clicking that you hear comes from the hardened ball bearing dropping into place each time the correct location is selected. This is uh, another wafer switch I've got to show you. It's uh, two wafers. Uh, each one has uh, 12 contacts, so that's a common position and 11 selectable positions. So that makes this a double pole 11 way switch. This is a uh, switch with two wafers. Each wafer has uh, two segments, each with five selectable positions so it's a four pole five way switch this one looks as though it's grown a fur coat and that's probably attributed to uh, excessive use of switch cleaner over the years and it's attracted a lot of dust but the contacts look clean This is an old uh, three wafer switch that I've taken out of some piece of equipment at some stage and uh, I'll take it apart and let you see uh, just how easy it is to take apart and uh, reassemble. A couple of things you should do, um, always uh, either take good photographs or draw a picture of the assembly of the component before you start uh, dismantling it as very often the spacers are different sizes and uh, you can even get mixed up with which way round the wafer goes. I always like to work over a tray as I have a habit of uh, throwing everything on the floor and um, it's, it's just very convenient to uh, keep everything in one place. Uh, so there's the wafer and that's the first uh, wafer that's uh, come off and uh, you can see the, the way that it performs there. Once you've got the switch apart you can uh, clean it or repair it. Um, so uh, there's no need to be uh, afraid of wafer switches. It's a bit daunting 
uh, dismantling one out of a, a piece of equipment where there's uh, a lot of connections but uh, just keep good notes and um, a, a switch can be replaced or repaired um, fairly easily okay if you found that interesting you may be interested in some of the other videos uh, that I've made for YouTube please let me have your feedback as it's the only way that I know I'm not completely wasting my time making these videos and uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye